Check this out. Oh, maybe some sun might give some weird exposure. I got some fruit trees and some palm trees here in the beautiful San Diego. That's right, doing some more traveling, visiting family. Just got done working out with a bunch of sandbags they got back here. I don't know if it's sand really, I think it's compost and yeah, like soil and whatnot. They're, they're setting up gardens at their house. And I've just been thinking a lot about uh, kind of like an inverse imposter syndrome kind of thing. Like a, a way we beat ourselves up or we don't believe we can actually get what we want. And uh, just kind of thinking of my path of where I've, where I've gone up to now. So y'all are crazy. Y'all just, you don't, you don't get it yet. <laughs> you don't understand that. You're so incredibly powerful. You're, you're so capable of doing an amazing amount of things with your life. Whatever it is you're focusing on, that becomes stronger and stronger. And that's, whether it's something negative or positive, it doesn't matter. If you're ruminating over something that someone said at work, you're going to, you're going to put a lot of power on that and it's going to dominate your thinking process. It's going to ruin your day. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night and think about work and, and your day will be ruined because of the power of your mind. Today while I was working out, I was frustrated. I was frustrated with where I am in my career. I was frustrated with like everything you've gone through. You're crunching numbers in some office job. I, you haven't achieved glory. You are not Alexander the Great. You're simple Luke sitting in an office, pulling up some database spreadsheet and crunching numbers in Excel. Ooh. Uh, and then I realized the way I was thinking about that is completely wrong. It's completely wrong. My father had an excavator business before he got divorced. And he pretty much hasn't been employed since then. Uh, my mom has never been able to hold down a job. And both of them have had crazy amounts of issues because of addiction name the substance whatever you're thinking of you're right um, and I come from that kind of background I wasn't supposed to make it okay my one chance that I had I, I got a scholarship to a private college I was like yeah I've made it and then I dropped out because I never went to class never studied I didn't do it right so not only did I start off on a bad foot I then shot myself in the other foot I should pretty much be in prison, or dead, or working at a gas station. That's where I should be, statistically. There were so many things in my past that I've done wrong. Things that oh, I, oh, I wish I could do over. I wish I could make up for. Uh, I wish I hadn't made those mistakes. But those mistakes have led me to where I am now. They've made me the person I am, and I don't do any of those things anymore. And thank God I was able to pull out of some of those different habits and bad choices before anything permanent happened. Before, God bless you, Mom and Dad, but before I became my Mom and Dad. All right? Where I am is amazing compared to where I should be. Where I am is a, a testament of human will, of perseverance, of believing in myself. And I'm AverageJoe.com, okay? There's, <laughs> you'd be amazed at how many obvious things I miss, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Uh, not the brightest bulb in the stack, let's put it that way. <laughs> so if I can be out here getting to some boring office job when I really shouldn't be here, you can do whatever it is you put your mind to. This is not where I'm going to end up. I'm going to end up working for myself, doing some amazing things. I'm going to end up, I don't even know. I don't even know. Because a decade ago, no, I could not have predicted I'd be where I am. I would not have known that I'd have a family or the ability to travel to see family right now. I'm still a long ways away from where I want to be. But every day I improve just one little bit, one little percentage point, And it gets better. And it gets better. And then there's a new problem. And then you have to adjust to that. And then you feel like a complete fool because you... But I figured all this out. Why is this problem coming up? It's because that's life, man. That's life. But then you push through that too. And then the next day is even brighter. And it's even better. And it's... It's dang amazing. And then you're sitting next to... What is it? This is an apple tree. But uh, over there are... Um, I don't know what you call them in English. Uh, per persimmons, pers persimmons, persimmons, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> there's some guava over there. I had my first guava. I've never had a guava. 
Those are delicious. They have the texture of, of mashed potatoes and they taste kind of like a, a pear meta mango. It's delicious. It's awesome. You should try guava. <laughs> so just little things like that. You just, you feel good about your life and you realize like it's better. It's so much better than it was a decade ago, two decades ago, or three decades ago when my parents weren't divorced. Things are much, much better. And I'm telling you all that and I'm rambling a lot just to, to paint that picture of me working out, thinking that I'm a complete failure, that all my efforts have gone into what? Crunching numbers in an office? No, no. All my efforts have gone into making my family possible. My efforts have gone into changing my family lineage. We, I've never been to jail. That kind of makes me a black sheep. <laughs> not, not for everyone. <laughs> That's more my dad's side of things. If anyone on my mom's side is watching this, they're, they're like, what are you talking about going to jail? Family's great, but I've never been to jail. I thank God I've never caused a car accident. I've never dealt drugs. That's also new. <laughs> I went and I graduated from college eventually. I got a respectable career and I started a family. And Lord Almighty, please <laughs> permit that that continues. We're happy. And I just want to share that with you. I want to share that with you, not as a humble brag, not as like, hmm, look at me. No, it's saying like, you can start in a really, really dark place. You can be in a place that there is no hope. There's no chance to get ahead. There's somehow you just, there's no doors or windows, but you break through the wall and everything's better. And then once everything's better, you can get to a place where you're frustrated like it's not enough. And that's just your mind playing tricks with you. That's just your mind tricking you into thinking you're not good enough or you're You've somehow failed. So, I hope your life is magical. I hope you go out there and you get everything you ever wanted. I hope you're safe and you're taking care of yourself and you're moving closer to your goals. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to go have another one of those guavas because those are dang good. I think it's actually lunchtime, so after lunch. But anyway, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later.